Hey everybody, Dave here from Davies World Fishing. Today I'm going to walk you through the Mako 12 Kayak by Riot Kayaks. The first thing I wanna talk about on this boat is drainage. There's lots of scuppers and lots of drainage. Let's take a look. Up here in the very much in the bow, you've got quite a few scupper holes and they actually come with drain plugs. These are foam drain plugs. Pretty cool that they offer that. You drop them in there. You're not gonna lose them overboard. Pull it when you want some drainage. Moving towards the back here. Each footwell actually has another one. You could pop those in, take them out nice and easy. Back here close towards the seat, it's got another scupper hole. And it's got these large size, you can pop them in here, all also attached. In the very center where the impulse drive is, it actually comes with this large scupper plug. You can pop that dude in there and that'll actually keep it sealed. Pop it out when you're ready to go. And heading towards the back of the boat, you got another large drain hole and plug back here as well. Keeps it nice and drained, it's a nice dry ride. As you can see right in the cockpit here, you actually have a water holder. Just put your water bottle or whatever you like in there. It's got the nice comfort seat. The seat system is very easy to use. It's got these nice, easy toggles. You just push the button there to slide it up. All you can do is you're gonna pull it tight to get it to the length that you want, whatever back resistance you like. If you want a little straighter up, pull it a little tighter. If you wanna go loose, you can go loose. If you loosen them both, you can go you know, all the way down flat if you like. Maybe you're a nap guy on the water, very easy to do on this. I actually like to transport it flat. I'll push both of these guys down. And in the back here, I'll use the elastic bands and that actually hold the seat down. Keep that looped over and it doesn't flop up and down in the wind in the car. The Mako 12 actually features four rod holders built in. Comes with two up in the front, just past the front wheel well. These are uh, deep wells. The only thing in there is there's not, there's not a pin system to keep it straight. I don't know if you can tell that there. So there's no gimbal. So if you've got a rod, it will rotate within there. That might be the only downfall I see on the rod holders. And there's a couple in the back here too. They're actually at a nice angle. So if you're trolling, it's gonna be a, a nice angle for trolling, keeps the rods out from each other. If you're fishing seven foot rods, you're gonna have a good 13 foot spread between the two. The steering mechanism on this boat is right here on the right hand side. You can actually switch it to the other side if you like. It's ambidextrous, but I have it mounted on the right. Here's your actual rudder back here. It's an easy flip system. There's some pull tabs right on the inside here. You pull it, that brings it down, and the other side's got the one to lift it up. Then the actual steering is just this here. As you rotate that right and left, that's gonna be your steering mechanism. As you can see, you're turning it right, turning it left. That's how you're gonna steer your boat around. Getting into some of the storage, this boat does not have a lot of storage in it, so you're not gonna be jamming rods and reels down in here some storage, uh, you know, pretty light on storage. In the back here, it's got a nice rubberized cap. Nice and feels like it's gonna be very sealed. But uh, you know, it's a small hole. I wanna maybe call that a six inch or eight inch hole there. Heading towards the front, it's got more of your standard style hole. Let me pop off the drive here so we can take a look at that storage. So this one here is gonna be your standard. You turn it. Then open it up and that's gonna be your storage. You can probably fit some rods and reels if you break them down. Maybe some travel rods, maybe some of the Okuma Nomad travel rods would work well. But if you're using seven and a half, eight foot rods, you know, it is only a 12 foot boat, so there's not gonna be a ton of storage there. But it looks to be sealed. There's a rubber gasket in the seal here. This is gonna be your standard style that you're gonna find on most Cobra style kayaks. It's got a, a four pin latching system. So as you turn that, as you can see, those little latches go in and out, rotate, keeps it nice and sealed. Rotate that dude down, lock it flat. You can have a nice sealed finish there. It does come with lots of bungees. So if you wanna put some storage in front here, maybe you got a kill bag you wanna put up in the front. It's got bungees in the back. Plenty of room back here as well. You can actually fit a half milk crate right in here. You can, you can these just pop off. You can do whatever you'd like as far as storage, but those pop off. You can put that half milk crate with more rod holders if you like back there as well. On the sides here, it's got lots of it's got lots of uh, rope areas, hold-ons. You know, you do fall over, you have something to grab onto as well, but you can also clip your game clips on here, clip any kind of game bags, whatever you like. The rail system is gonna be your standard kayak rail system. I've got a ball mount here on the front, that's where my fish finder goes. 
but you can also put your rod holders on both sides any kind of a any kind of attachment that you'd like it's a very standard system very easy to use it's got rails in the front rails down the middle and it's got some rails in the back here as well speaking of drainage like we talked about earlier the drain plugs actually right back here in the back open that up it's got a nice gasket to it you can you know slide these out and you can pop it out if you'd like to but that's right up there so to actually drain it you got to flip it upside down get it up on the butt end front end up back end down that's going to get you your your drainage it's got a couple handle systems on this boat as well these are going to be your standard kayak handles they screw in you know it's got the nice nice easy grip to them the one thing i like about this boat is that on the sides the grips are actually right up onto the rails so you don't have to worry about them actually rotting and popping out it's got a nice foam to it uh, you got the nice finger cut out but nice easy to grip very easy to handle and in the front here it's actually got a molded in handle nice easy grip on that guy as well uh, same as i mentioned in the front there you can actually take these bungees off you can put in whatever you like works for nice easy storage the drive system is the impulse drive i'm going to set this camera down here real quick and we'll take a quick look at that uh, i'll put a link for my previous video on how to actually do it but i'm gonna do it real quick for you so in the storage space where it was there's a little pin system right on the sides you unclip them the drive pops out and you can slide it right on down into the drive system from there there's little pins right on the side here you rotate your pins down on both sides that's going to lock it in now you're spinning you're ready to go there's your drive system there front and back however you like it says you need a 22 inch clearance so you're not going to fish super super shallow but you know two feet of water you're good to go to take this guy out you're just going to pull that rotate it back up pull your drive out got to make sure that your uh, make sure that your blades are nice and sturdy sorry for the shaking camera there a little hard to do from down below but pull that guy out you're going to set it back in its storage lock the pins and you're good to go very simple pretty cool little drive it's all very light i want to say that the whole drive system is about eight pounds the whole boat you're, i think you're right in that 60 ish pounds range even with the seat and everything else on there of course the more accessories you're going to get it's going to be a little heavier boat but that's a very cool boat uh, I, I don't know, I think i got most of the features there i do appreciate y'all checking in this is the mako 12 by riot kayaks we're going to get this boat wet here pretty quick as soon as the quarantines are let go and we can actually get out on the water I do appreciate y'all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Davies World Fishing up in that right-hand corner. Thank y'all, and we'll see y'all on the water.